What's up guys, GameServerToots.com here. Today I'm, I'm going to show you how you set up a local hosted um, Gary's Mountain server with Counter-Strike Source content. Another tutorial covers how you put Dark RP and ULX on it. Now you want to go to Steam CMD, download uh, the Windows zip file, or if you're on Linux, of course download that one. Save the file. Put it into a folder on your desktop. Open up folder and run it. It's gonna update the program. All right. A lot of the games on Steam CMD requires that you uh, that you log in. And uh, remember that this is made by Steam, so no worries about that. Type uh, login and then your Steam username uh, and here where it's, uh, it gets tricky to download the game you must own it on your Steam account so if you own Counter-Strike you, you need to own Gary Small, you need to own Team Fortress 2 etc so let's, uh, let's get started Just tapping in my username and my password here and then it's gonna send an email with my Steam Guard code to my uh, inbox, of course. Let's see what. Here we go. I just type that in. This is only needed uh, to be done once. So once you press in Steam Guard code, it's a uh, it's remembered forever. Well, unless uh, unless you delete the, the CMD folder we created. All right. Let's uh, get down to downloading. The first command you want to initiate is force install dir. And I want to install this on my C drive. So C, and then the backward slash, and then a name. Um, let's call it source. Now it knows where to install our files. Then you want to go to uh, to this website here. It holds all the IDs of the stuff that we need to download. In this case, Counter Strike Source. So let's do app underscore update, and then the app ID in this case is two four. This is uh, gonna do its uh, its thing here, downloading the content needed. We're then since uh, Gary's mod is not on Steam CMD yet, we need to use HLDS update tool for that. So go to srcds.com, click on the Windows Server, and download from the Valve's server here. Save the file. Once it's downloaded and installed, you want to go to the install directory. Make sure it's updated and then create this little bad file here. This is simply going to tell uh, HLDS update tool that we want our stuff installed here. Um, it says run this program. You want to do command update, game Gary's mod, directory, the C drive in the source folder, verify all and retry. Save it and then run it. Okay, this is now gonna install Gary's mod server files for us for us to be back once it's complete. And we're back. As you can see, both downloads are complete. You want to type in quit here. And this you just press enter. And as you can see, the folder is now created. And since we want to add our Counter-Strike source content onto our Gary's Mod server, we want to move this C-Strike folder into the orange box folder. 
double click the orange box folder and then you see this little SRCDS application here hold right click down and drag it Oop. and drag it like that release and then create a shortcut here now right click properties and then you want to type in the following hyphen console hyphen game space charisma uh, space plus map and then enter the map uh, in this case since we haven't installed any new maps we just gonna use gm underscore flat grass and then if you had a game mode installed you wanted to, to do plus game mode dark rp but in this case we only have sandbox and then last but not least we want to do plus max players 16 you can be anything you want really up to 128 i believe on sandbox and 64 on pretty much any other game mode apply and save and double click hello and as you can see our server is now live open up the game find multiplayer game legacy browser refresh and as you can see here is our new server double click to join and we just connect it to our own local server there will be another tutorial on my channel on how to make this a public server and how to add dark rp etc thanks for watching